Hola amigos! Welcome back to Isha's World and Shruti. Before we start today's video, answer this question. What is a museum? According to me, the museum is a storeroom in which many significant historical, scientific, artistic or cultural interests are preserved and are exhibited. The things preserved in museums have such amazing history and they don't only preserve artifacts, but they help in preserving our religious history and to honor many artists who produce the world's immaculate art and also to convey the future generations and promote the history and traditions and also the significance and the prominence of these amazing artifacts. Wondering why I'm so insightful? It's not me, it's Google. However, there are some museums which are labeled famous because of their significance, like the Louvre Museum Parish, the British Museum London, the Metropolitan Museum of uh, NYC, and so forth. Have you ever been to one of these museums? Which museum is it? And does it have any antiques? Or does it have clothes of famous personalities? Do you sometimes think that some of these museums are really weird? If these are weird to you, what do you call the museums which stores dog collars? Yes, you heard me right, dog collars. Want to know what it is? Come on, let's dive in. Uh-uh, not so soon. I'll give you five seconds and I request you all to subscribe to Isha as well. Your countdown starts now. Thank you all who subscribe. Have a dog collar, why late? Hand it to a museum. Yes, a museum. A museum situated in Kent, England, preserves collars of dogs. This museum, which is established in 1976, consists of more than 100 dog collars. By exhibiting the dog collars, starting with one having so many spikes due to which they look like instruments of torture, to an intricately decorated collar that includes the family's coat of arms, these accoutrements of dog ownership give awareness marvelously of how pet owners have tortured or spoiled their pets for more than 500 years and to enlighten the future generations to take a very good care of pets. Next museum is a very interesting one. It's a Bigfoot museum at Falcon, California, USA. Unlike the name suggests, it isn't a museum consisting of Bigfoot, but I wish it were. However, Bigfoot Museum is a museum and a theme park based in South Goa, India, village of Rutolim, in the sub-district or Taluka of Salzi. It is a museum dedicated to rural bone life. It was founded and is run by the artist Mimra Alves. Rutolim is close to Bargova. Uh, this privately run venture recreates a goal life in miniature that seeks to depict what the local rural life was in past over a century ago. The museum is located in open air setting. Moving forward to Beijing, China, this is a tap water museum. Wondering what is the significance of a museum when a tap is already at our home? Uh, the museum is built on the original place on the first water plant in Beijing Zongzi Min water plant. Uh, inside the museum, 130 real objects, 110 pictures, 40 models, sand tables on display reflect the 90 year old history of Beijing tap water. Uh, now, traveling to Aikida Shi, Japan, and entering into the Momo Fuku Ando Instant Treatment Museum, just after World War II, before there was ever an instant noodle, the Japanese people were hungry. Recovering from a lost war, the nation with huge shortages. Uh, Momofuku Ando, later to become founder of Nissin, who FYI is the first internationally known instant noodle maker, was struck by something he saw at that time. Long lines stretching out in front of Freeman shops. It gave him the idea of making a dream available to people, in his words, Anytime, anywhere. Coming to the present, the Momofuku Ando Instant Dreamer Museum in Osaka tells the history of noodles and allows visitors to make their own cup of noodles. If you ever visit this museum, do participate in making of the noodles and also bring one for me too, please. Moving on to next, have you ever gone to any museum consisting of arts? They have various masterpieces, don't they? But have you ever heard of Museum of Bad Art at Dedham, Massachusetts, USA? The uh, Museum of Bad Art, M-O-B-A, is a privately owned museum whose stated aim is to celebrate the labor of artists whose work would be displayed and appreciated in no other forum. It was originally in Dedham with current branches in Somerville, Brooklyn, and South Weymouth of Massachusetts. Its permanent collection includes over 700 pieces of art too bad to be ignored. 
25 to 35 of which are on public display at any one time. I did the room trick you. It tricked me to. And now coming to the girl's most beautiful characteristic, the hair. Did you know that there's a museum called the Avenus Hair Museum located in Avenus, Turkey? The Avenus Hair Museum is notably one of the most peculiar museums that you will come across. The museum is located in a small cave beneath a pottery shop and consists hair samples names and that it addresses from more than 16,000 women from all around the world. It's an interesting story. It all started when a French woman who was studying pottery under the founder left behind a few strands of hair as a memento. This gave him the idea of asking other women students to donate a lock too. He just thought it would be an interesting lock. Now, it's a very famous museum dedicated to locks of hair that past female visitors have left there for posterity. Coming up is a museum located in Great Nova, USA. In um, the unusual museum of bread culture, 1955, displays bread and bakeware typical of ancient Egypt and of medieval times. And the um museum features a large collection of Upper Swabian art too. What the circus reminds you of? Of course, clowns. Are you a fan of clowns? If yes, International Clown Hall of Fame and Research Center, ICHOF, located in Baribu, Wisconsin, United States, is a must visit. It is dedicated to the preservation and advancement of clown art and achievement. Represented by professional and amateur clown associations, it also plays tribute to outstanding clown performers. Operates a museum of clowning with resident clown performers, conducts special events, and maintains a natural archive of clown artifacts and history. It is also an amazing place where one can learn about circus clowns and clowning and the history of clowns. A staggering set of museums, isn't it? If you've enjoyed watching this video of unwrapping the world's most bizarre museums, click on the thumbs up button and see the magic. Did you do it? Wondering what the magic is? The button turned from white to blue, didn't it? Okay, okay. I'm sorry to bluff you, but don't we deserve a little appreciation after this huge research just to entertain you? Anyways, uh, share it with your friends. As you know, sharing is caring. And also subscribe to Isha's World if you would like to watch more of page videos. And stay tuned always because you have a surprise ahead. I know I say this in many videos, but amigos, have a little patience and it also won't take so long. Just a few more days. And also, let me know in the comment section which of these museums you found much weird and amazing. Finally, as always, this is Shruti signing off.